go. What's up, Facebook results driven clients group? Organic sustainable scaling systems, baby. That's what we're all about. I love it. Let's see if some people hop on. If not, I'm going to go straight into the workshop. I'm pumped, guys. It's 6 p.m. where I'm at, Eastern Standard Time, in beautiful St. Pete, Florida, baby. Jamming out to some Drake, getting pumped for this call. So ready. I'm pumped to talk to you guys about today. Um, Hundred thousand dollar month, irresistible, sustainable, and scalable offers, man. If your business does not have this in place, you're missing out on literally so much money. You're leaving so much money on the table. All right, let's see. Let's see. How do I check out? I know we're live on Facebook, but copy streaming when you have to throw on. I don't think I want to bring. Oh, oh. You can't stand me. Oh, let's go. They don't think I want to Grammy. Y'all gonna think I want to Grammy. I love it. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot. I didn't want to Grammy. But I got a letter from a senator, dog, from my business, dog. What? <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, we're live streaming for sure. We are on, we are good. All right, guys, I'm going to just go ahead and get started with this training. Uh, it's already 6. Oh, eight, and I got things to do tonight, so I can't be here all night for you, even though I want to be. Uh, how do I preview this? All right, guys, I hope you can see my screen. I got this awesome presentation ready for you to walk you through $100,000 per month irresistible, sustainable, scalable offers. So this is how to get four to 15 times more new clients without changing anything else in your marketing. I know you're probably thinking right now, like, Laura, what the fuck? Like, you got to be full of shit. <laughs> but I promise you I'm not. I'm going to walk you through step by step what it takes to create these types of offers and why it's essential for you to have it in your business. Now, let's see if this thing works. Because it's not moving in. All right. So super duper important for you to know this, okay? All the gurus out there that want to take all your money want you to believe that these specific things are super essential to your business success. So these things are like live webinars, hybrid webinars, evergreen webinars, BSLs, long form sales letters, short form sales letters, tripwires, or you know what, even strategy sessions. So these gurus that want to take all your money, they're forcing you to focus on the model, right? Or the benefit-driven copy, the retargeting, the automation, all this, all these things, all these things that, that probably make you feel really, really overwhelmed in your business. And what I'm here to tell you, <laughs> which I need you to understand that these gurus are trying to push all this BS towards you. And I'm not saying it's not important, right? I'm not saying it's, it's not important. I'm just saying. It's not essential. <laughs> like they're important things later on once you get the foundation right. Okay. So all these gurus are literally just out to take your money because they don't want you to know about the secret power of the offer. Okay. Looks like we got, we got Anthony in the house. What's up, my dude? Um, you're not late. You're just on time. Timing is perfect. I love it. I know we got more viewers in the group. If you guys want to hop in and ask specific questions in regards to how I can help you with your offer, um, the link should be in 
the post in the group where it's streaming this and you're watching it. Awesome. Click it, join us. But yeah, guys, I need you to understand these people, they're trying to push all these other things down your throat. Just all they want to do is take your money and they don't want you to know about the power of the offer. Um, is this working? Yeah, okay. So, so the truth is the offer makes or breaks your entire marketing campaign, regardless of live webinars, hybrid webinars, evergreen webinars, any type of web webinar you think of, uh, VSLs, long form sales letters, short form sales letters, tripwires, strategy sessions, benefit driven copy, retargeting, automation, all that, okay? The offer is responsible for 40% of the success of your marketing campaign. The other 40% is the audience and 20% is the copy, the graphics, the layout, the model of the business, the automation, all that fun stuff that everybody wants to push down your throat that they say is essential is really only 20% of the success of your business, okay? And as long as you're talking to your ideal target audience, the biggest thing responsible for your success is your offer, okay? And most coaches, consultants, and course creators spend literally little to no time focusing on their offers, even though it literally will make or break their businesses. And I don't want you to fall for this trap, right? Because the right offer can double, triple, and even quadruple your conversions, which... I mean, I, if you don't know what conversions are, it's just sales in your business. Like literally today, without changing any of the copy, model, or automations. And that's why I'm covering this training on 100,000 per month, irresistible, sustainable, scalable offers to help you make more money and beat out your competition. Okay, your average competition is probably taking 10 to 15 minutes to think and create their offers. Okay, they, in their mind, they're probably thinking, well, here's my product, here's how much it costs, and here's how you can get it. And that's it. That's what they think an offer is, right? And after completing this training, you're going to be 10, maybe a thousand steps really ahead of your average competition because you will have created an irresistible, sustainable, scalable offer, which is what I call an ISS offer. Okay. So, so let's just start at the basics. What is an offer? Okay. It's essentially everything the prospect gets and what they need to do and give in order to get it. Okay. So that actually includes both the good and the bad. So what are the, what's the good, right? The good is the features, the benefits, the premiums of your product. The bad, which is what most people don't talk about, is the risk, right? The risk involved with purchasing your product. You know, the work that it takes to purchase your product, the effort in purchasing your product, right? The fear, getting out of their comfort zone. Nobody thinks about that when putting together an offer, right? That's why I'm telling you, you're about to be steps, like so many steps ahead of your average competitor because I promise you, they're not even considering those things. So you must, you must be able to recognize that your offer is more than just your product and price. It's everything, everything, good and bad, that your prospects get, okay? And everything they need to do in order to actually get it, okay? So always, anytime you have a new business or anything, you want to start by engineering your irresistible, sustainable, scalable offer first, your ISS offer. Why? You're probably like, Laura, why do I got to focus on this first? Shouldn't I, shouldn't I get my audience down or whatever? Okay. So the reason why you want to start with the end in mind is because literally everything you do from this point on will lead your prospect to the ultimate destination, which is the offer. So it's kind of like if you're planning a cross country trip, you know, you'd logically start with the end destination right first and then from there reverse engineer the stops along the way okay so the better your offer is the easier the job on your marketing team and your sales team right like i hope if you're watching this you know you're not a solopreneur or you're getting out of the solopreneur um mindset right you are a business owner you have teams, you have people that you delegate to, right? That they're, they're 
only responsibility is like either the marketing, customer acquisition, um, right, sales, whatever. It's your job as a business owner to ease the sales process for them. And the best way for you to do this is by focusing on a great offer, right? Because a great offer can make up for weak copy, but great copy cannot make up for an average run-of-the-mill offer. It just won't work, okay? So you must understand this before moving forward. So please, you know, if you're watching, Anthony, you got it? Good, because we're moving forward. So the offer is what you're selling, okay? View the offer as the product. Like you need, it's, it's not, it's literally not just the product. It's the whole offer, everything you're getting. That's what you're selling. And I know it's weird for you if you're a coach or consultant or course creator to see the offer in this way, in this light, right? But the offer is really what you are marketing and selling in your campaigns. The product is just one piece of the offer, which we're about to break down. So there's 11 main types of offers. There's a hard offer, which is like pretty much any product out there, right? Payment up front. There's a soft offer, which is payment later, right? Like, like uh, anything in regards to a firm or anything like that, right? Like try it, pay it later. There's negative option offers, right? Which, which would be something like continuity. So let's say you have some type of product that charges them every single month and then a negative option offer would be like hey you get access to all these bonuses and premiums you just roll into a continuity offer right so they have to be like no i don't want this to roll into that so that's that's what that means there's um installment offers right payment plans um there's charter offers which is like an early one-time discount. There's exclusive offers, which is an offer for a specific type of person um, and only for them. There's limited offers, which is usually like deadline driven. Uh, there's one-time offer, which is can only be seen once. There's a qualified offer, which requires an application and a combination offers, right? Which is combining more than two of the, the um, offers I just mentioned. So those are the 11 main types of offers and there's seven key components of your offer right there's deliverables the three layers of benefits which i'll cover later on in detail um the price and terms premiums and bonuses risk reversals super important um reasons to respond now and the call to action so those are the key seven components that you need to understand that go into creating these ISS yeah. offers. So, um, hold on, I think I got everybody muted. All right, perfect. Um, so what is an irresistible, sustainable, and scalable offer? So it's irresistible to the prospect because its value proposition is so high and it eliminates perceived risk on their end. So it's like kind of a no brainer, right? And it's sustainable because you won't get stuck in a one-on-one -on -one time trap and get you burned out. That's a huge problem I see with these solopreneurs um, trying to wear all these hats themselves. Like, no, that's not why you got into business. You got into business to build a team, empower your team so they can empower you and they can fulfill on your clients. So then you can live that laptop lifestyle after you've implemented the right systems in place so that your business is semi-automated. Okay, and it's scalable because it's so high ticket that you can hire a team to fulfill, right? Uh, a huge trap I see people uh, fall into is like they try to play the, the low cost game. Like, oh, I only charge this much. It's a deal, blah, blah, blah. Like the discount game. Like, no, dude, that's, that's not like that is not you being in integrity with your best self if you keep discounting yourself for other people. Like you need to go meditate on that and figure out what's going on there. But I see so many people fall into that trap. It's, it's really, really sad. Um, 
So we start off with competitor analysis. And this competitor analysis um, is only for your competitors that are direct response marketers. Okay, so that means they're running paid traffic to a landing page. They know exactly what their numbers are to acquire a customer. And uh, they're, they're probably like a couple a lot of steps ahead of you if they're running paid traffic. But um, you need to go and research those people because those are your top competitors. And what you need to find in this research, in this analysis, is what is their unique selling proposition, right? And if you don't know what a unique selling proposition is, like what is their unique benefit um, that is like unique to them, right? Um, and then also what's their unique mechanism, right? That's essentially, what that means is your their proprietary method. What is the method that they use that they claim to be only theirs, right? Um, what are their deliverables, right? Are they delivering their products through video trainings, through workbooks? Like what is all included in that um, in all of their deliverables? What are the benefit claims? What are their price and terms, their premiums and bonuses? And then how do they approach risk reversals? Okay, those are the main things you need to figure out with your direct response competitors only, because those are the creme de la creme, the top of the top in your industry. Um, so how do you, as a business owner, present your deliverables? So we at Viral Growth Media have a very specific formula on how we present deliverables, right? It's the deliverable the feature and the why. So what is a deliverable? The deliverable is what they get. The feature is facts about the product or service, okay? The why is why the feature is valuable, beneficial, helpful, or advantageous, okay? The super simple formula to the point, and that's how to present deliverables, okay? So I'm gonna give you an example. The example is, okay, the deliverable is a free company culture consultation. How many of you have seen people say, oh, I'll give you a free consultation, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I figured that was the best example for this group. So the deliverable here is free company culture consultation. The feature is with an expert in high performance culture. The why is to ensure you can retain and acquire high performance employees. And the benefit is, so your company can continue to increase stock performance. Uh, so I specialize in helping people sell their products to the corporate America world, like big fortune, um, 100, 500, 5,000 companies. Uh, so like these companies care about stock performance and they care about culture. Right, so it makes sense. Um, if you're not in the space, it might not make as much sense to you, but just try to keep up. Um, so the key point here is that your offer must clearly demonstrate how it delivers on the benefits and desires pinpointed in your campaign content, right? And fill in all the missing gaps that you might have created in your content. So. Let's get into the three types of benefits, okay? First benefit is your functional benefit. So what the feature and advantage does for the prospect, okay? Then there's a dimensionalized benefit, which paints a vivid picture of what they're experiencing or what that benefit that they're experiencing will look like. You know, you bring the functional benefit to life. And then the emotional benefit spells out how the dimensionalized benefit is going to make the prospect feel emotionally. Okay. So let me just break it down based on the first example that we did. So the functional benefit would be to talk to a high performance culture expert for an hour. That's, that's the functional benefit. The dimensionalized benefit is from the moment you hop on the call till the end, you'll know this expert has transformed companies like yours routinely and with a formula to increase profits and decrease expenses. Okay, that's the dimensionalized benefit. Keep following me. Don't don't get lost in this. I know these words are confusing sometimes, but like 
I promise you it'll all make sense when we pull it together. Okay, so the emotional benefit will be, and you'll feel a sense of relief that you're not alone managing your company culture. Imagine walking into the office and no more passive aggressiveness and, or I guess I missed the word there, but imagine walking into the office and no one being passive aggressive and working as a unit to break monthly records. Like, wow, how does that make you feel now? You know what I'm saying? It makes you feel fantastic. Like, hell yeah, I'm gonna have this call, you know? Um, so let's put it all together, right? You get a free company culture consultation with an expert in high performance culture to ensure you can retain and acquire high performance employees so your company can continue to increase stock performance. From the moment you hop on the call till the end, you'll know this expert has transformed companies like yours routinely and with a formula to increase profits and decrease expenses. And you'll feel a sense of relief that you're not alone managing your company culture. Imagine walking into the office and no one being passive aggressive and working as a unit to break monthly records. Right, so it's a no brainer. You see how smooth that flows and how much sexier it is to hop on this free consultation call. <laughs> like it, it really is no brainer. So let's get into negative selling tactics. Negative selling tactics are like telling the prospect what it doesn't do, whatever your product does not do. Telling the prospect what it does not have, right? Pulling the takeaway on them. If you're if you're ever been involved in sales, which I'm sure you guys have, like the takeaway is super powerful, right? Telling them like, hey, I only got two spots left. And, you know, if you're not ready to move forward, that's perfectly fine. Just let me know. Um, and it's not a good fit. It's not a good fit. Like you should not be needy on any calls. OK, that's like the biggest deter to sales when you're needy. And then obviously negative selling tactic would be the damaging admission specific to the product. So for example, if you have a, a beta group, right? Like a damaging, so like we have a beta group and our damaging admission is, look guys, you know, it's still in beta, but that's why you're getting it at a discounted rate. Like everything is not perfect and we know it's not perfect. And the reason why we're getting you in beta is so that you can help us make it perfect for everybody else, you know? Um, okay, and then we're going to get into price and terms. So what is price and terms? There's different ways to value price. Okay, so there's the value price, right? Like this is valued at $10,000, but today you won't pay $10,000. You're going to pay a fraction of the price, whatever, you know, uh, think of like infomercials. Um, then there's the retail price. Um, there's the rationale for the discount, right? Like how I just told you about the beta group, the rationale for a 20% discount, 30% discount, whatever. Oh, it's because, you know, we're still in beta. The, the program's not built out. You're going to help us make it better. You know, discount price, um, the, the offer price, right? Like you're going to get all this for this price. Yeah. Um, the saving percentage, the savings amounts and um, price trivialization, right? Which is like when you say something like for the price of a cup of coffee a day, there's different ways that you can conquer price in terms, right? These are all the ways you can do that. Now, let's get into understanding prospect risks. This is a, what a lot, a lot, 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 lot of people lack, okay? They don't understand what is going on in their prospect's mind subconsciously as they're evaluating this product and purchasing this product, right? So one of the things is risk of financial loss right? That's obviously the most, the highest up because it's the one that's most top of mind. Um, I think that's maybe something that people might think of, but one thing I know for a fact they won't think of is risk of loss of face, okay? So what does loss of face mean? That means like, oh, what is, what is my wife going to think about this if this fails? What is like, what are my friends going to think of me? What are the people at work going to think of me? You know, like, like the shame that they might feel if they don't if they're not successful with whatever product you're um, you're selling them. 
and and that I think the people that might be most aware of that would be like the MLM space people because <laughs> yeah all their prospects are ashamed <laughs> that, that they're even having the conversation most of the time um, so there's also risk of loss of time right like man am I gonna waste all my time doing this and it's just not gonna work out you know, or risk of inconvenience, you know, risk of hassle or intimidation, you know, risk of unsatisfactory results, and risk of disappointment and frustration, right? Like your offer needs to have a solution for all of these, for it to be completely irresistible and a no-brainer, okay? And then we're going to get into the risk reversal basics. So, so I... I always, always, in any of the projects that I do, any anything I'm involved in, I always use the biggest, boldest guarantee possible, okay? So we have a program called the Deep Dive Accelerator Program. And guess what? If you're not successful with the Deep Dive Accelerator Program, you're going to get not just what you paid me back, you're going to get double your money back, right? And we're going to give you 12 months of support if you don't make at least 30,000 within the first 90 days, right? The program retail costs $15,000, right? Right now it's in beta for $10,000. And what we tell our prospects is, look, man, you're, you're gonna invest $10,000 with us. We're gonna help you get $30,000 in the first 90 days. And if we can't do that, we'll double your money back. And not only that, we'll still work with you for 12 months until you make that money and then you pay us again, right? Or we keep the money and we work with you for 12 months, whatever they choose, right? But we give them the option. But think about it. Who in their right mind is willing to say, double your money back, right? I'm paying these people 20 grand, right? And once we sell it at 15 grand, I'm going to be paying them 30 grand if I have to pay them double their money back. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you want to like do what your competitors will think that you're crazy for doing right because you have to be so confident in your product people that don't do this are not confident in their product and are usually scammers scammers are the ones that are not willing to do um like your money back stuff but if you're you have like an, a real product something that's truly transformational which is if you're in this program if you're in this um group it's because you you're transforming people's lives you're legit like even if you're suffering through imposter syndrome you're legit and you have something that's going to transform your ideal customers lives and it's your moral obligation to get them enrolled with whatever products you're selling okay so you got to have the biggest boldest guarantee possible because you know they're going to be successful when you go through at least that's how i feel anytime i develop any products so you want to show your prospects why and how it's truly risk free right and, and you want to give it a benefit oriented, exciting name. Like, for example, we're going through our beta. We're going through our beta in our program and we're even changing the name. Like right now it's called the Deep Dive Accelerator Program, but we're changing the name of, of the group to results driven clients because I know my clients are focused on providing results for their clients. And that's what separates me in the current marketplace, I believe. Um, but yeah, anyways just just some tips there and uh, so there's 10 types of risk reversals right so there's a conditional which that's something like okay i'll give you double your money back if you can prove to me that you put all your work into this program you followed everything that i said you showed up to every single um every single live stream every single opportunity like you filled out all the worksheets you did absolutely everything 110 percent, and you were still not successful with my program i'll give you double your money back that's a conditional um risk reversal unconditional is just like hey you know if after 30 days no questions asked like you're not satisfied, I'll give you your money back. That's unconditional. Money back, we already talked about that. Um, double your money back, I already gave you an example of that. Um, Performance-based, there's time-based, there's uh, lifetime, there's competitor challenge, like, uh, you know, like at Amazon. 
um, I'll, I'll match the price or whatever. There's a unique off the wall risk reversal is like, like something stupid, like something crazy. Um, like, I don't know. I don't even, I can't even think of something, but like something literally like I'll eat a cowboy hat or whatever. If you're able to do, I mean, just stupid stuff that wouldn't happen, but it like people say things like that. Um, and then like, a uh, risk reversal would be like, hey, look, you're not happy. You're not satisfied. You know what? I'll give you your money back. Just keep the premiums and bonuses. Boom. Risk reversal, right? So risk reversal language would be something like 100% money back guarantee, 100% satisfaction, no questions asked, no hassles, better than risk free. We'll buy it back. Try it before you decide. So that's some risk reversal language. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to show you a before of uh, what this uh, high performance coach had and what the after is. So before they said, we provide the most innovating high performance coaching in the world. If you are not satisfied for any reason, just cancel within 60 days for a full refund of your purchase price. So after it was after we added some good language and made it a little more funnier, right, or, or a little more smoother, right, it's, we provide the most innovating high performance coaching in the world, you're either fully satisfied, head over heels, thrilled with your coaching sessions, or just cancel within 60 days for a full refund of your purchase price, you see the difference, like, we literally only changed one sentence, and, and it's a completely different vibe, one seems like it's, it's like from super corporate America, no personality. And the other one is like full on personality, making sure that, that you know that I, or you know that I want you to be head over heels thrilled with your coaching sessions, right? So let's get into premiums and bonuses. So you use these to fill in product gaps and remove excuses for not buying. So once you find out what their limiting beliefs are, you know, maybe you, you hop on more calls with your ideal prospects, um, you, you realize they have, oh, even more limiting beliefs than what the product fulfills on, right? And, um, and uh, so you just fill in the premium and bonuses with something that'll help them just be like, okay, I was scared of this, but now I'm not scared of it anymore. Let's move forward, right? Um, you also want to give reasons why. Let me meet that. Okay, you also want to give reasons why you're including them, right? And you must include features, why, functional, um, dimensionalized, and emotional benefits, okay? And you must sell these just as hard as the main product. Like, you got to show off your premium and bonuses. They're super duper important. And then, then we get into reasons to respond now, okay? So I'm sure if you're in sales, you've heard the phrase, delay is the death of the sale, right? So urgency is a reason to respond now. So a deadline is key to trigger immediate action, right? Scarcity is tied to the speed of response, right? So there must be a plausible rationale given for each of those. But urgency and scarcity are super important and when possible, you must leverage both. Like for example, we have like a $50,000 deal that we're trying to close on and I literally texted the prospect today and I was like, tell you exactly what I said like I'm not chasing anybody I'm saying hey let me know if you want to move forward or not I got two spots left for a project this size for this quarter if you want to hit the new year strong and be ready for launch let me know if not that's fine too I don't want to be bugging you for an answer you know and he responded immediately immediately because he really wants to work with us, <laughs> but I need to figure out what that objection is. He told me it was funding. Okay. I sent him the funding link to our funding partners and he's going to get a loan and he's going to work with us. It's that simple. So that, now let's get into the close and the call to action.
Um, so you want to associate positive outcomes with taking action, right? Focus on the transformation, the after state. You actually, like the example I just gave you is a perfect example for focusing on um, the positive outcome, right? Because I said, what did I, where is it? Um, if you want to hit the new year strong and be ready for launch, let me know, right? I'm focusing on the after state, after we've done the build out. What's the, that end, you know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna start the new year strong. Um, you wanna use future tense when you're, like for example, if they're onboarding, right? Maybe say something like when your quick start video arrives or, or as soon as you get onto the onboarding page, there'll be a video waiting for you that's gonna walk you through the next steps, right? Um, you wanna future tense that. And then you also wanna use the contrast technique, which is telling the prospect what they will experience without your product, right? Consequence amplification. So like, look, man, you, you got two choices. You know, you can either take take the road alone, right? And, and figure it out like I did, you know, 10 years ago when I first got started and I wasted hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to trying to figure this thing out, right? You, you, you can't, you've got to amplify the consequences. And then you just tell them exactly what to do next. Look, the payment link is right here. You know, <laughs> it's that simple. Well, guys, I'm super pumped to say that you have officially completed ISS offer creation training. And now you're probably thinking, what's next, right? So you now need to test your offer by driving traffic to it, okay? And you need to take the time to book appointments with your prospects to pitch them. Okay, so now my question to you is, do you need help attracting your ideal clients to your offers? And if so, you should book a call with my team today. Go to viralgrowthmedia.com and book your call today because we are more than happy to help you find your ideal customers. If you guys don't know, Viral Growth Media is a performance-based agency. I'm, of course, the founder of Viral Growth Media. And uh, we, we pride ourselves on helping our clients make more money than we make off of them, right? So we do rev share deals with our clients, um, but it has to be a win-win situation. You cannot come to my team and expect to get a rev share deal when you're selling a $500 product. <laughs> like it just doesn't, like I, I want corporate deals. I'm looking for, for at minimum $10,000 products um, that we can pitch to corporate and, and that are truly transformational, right? Like I'm not looking for someone that just became a coach overnight. You know, I need someone with experience that, that has case studies that, that is serious. Like, I mean, serious, like they eat, sleep, breathe, whatever they do whatever their zone of genius is, right? Like you're not, you don't have a part-time job. Like, no, you are hyper-focused on serving your clients and will be hyper-focused on making sure your ideal clients find you. So guys, go to viralgrowthmedia.com, book a call if that sounds like you. Remember, do not book a call if you're not coachable, if you're not open, to changing the way your programs are, your products are, are set up, right? Obviously changing them for the better, never for the worse. Um, and, and yeah, don't, don't book a call if, uh, if you're not a good fit, right? Um, but yeah, guys, anybody in the chat have any questions? Anybody wants to drop a question in the chat? I'll do some q and I got a dinner to go to, but, uh, but uh, I'm always happy to answer some questions. Maybe uh something you didn't understand something you want clarity on i think i lost the chat hold on how do i get on this results there you go results driven clients let's see laura the goat was good <laughs> i didn't even see these comments hold on all right, all right. Um, nah, all right, you guys got nothing for me? No worries, guys. I will be on here next week, probably doing a training or maybe, I don't know, 
they'll just upload a video. It depends how I'm feeling. But uh, my team is here for you. We're here to support you. Um, and if uh, you want help, you know, scaling your business, we're the ones to help you. <laughs> if, if you're a good fit, right? We don't just help anybody. <laughs> if you're a good fit. Well, anyways, guys, I hope every single one of you have an amazing night. Hope you spend it with loved ones. You know, do your meditations. Make sure you tell God, the universe, your higher self, that you're thankful and, and you're grateful. And I promise you more great things will come to your life. All right, guys, you guys have an amazing night. We'll talk soon. Later.